Hello, my friends. This is INO for the year 2022. We're doing the second half of the year. It's currently June 24th, 2022, 9.05 p.m. So we're in July, uh, June, right? We have um, what appears to be a low toward in the second half of June. We're even into... All right, so I think this low is probably in early July. Um, remember, when, with a one year, there's like a half a month, give or take a half a month. So, um, and so what we're seeing right now is this prominent crest here, this push higher um, in, in June to reach a high. Uh, but we should do some more selling into July, into early July, or into mid-July. Um, I'm advised to be prudent around the lows here. Uh, there's multiple false bottoms or some sort of fake out. Um, and then out of the low, we push higher. Out of the July low, we push higher um, with a fast sudden move higher, marking the end of a period of volatility towards the very end of the month. Um, we're, we're bumping up against resistance again, uh, multiple failed attempts to break through key resistance. Um, and it looks like followed by, uh, we reached, we uh, break down from that resistance with increasing volatility as we move into August sharp decline to reach a uh, trough uh, uh, actually I believe this is the the uh, year's low here um, in uh, early August a male ruler is highlighted um, in late August and there's some fluctuation back and forth possibly a holding pattern there um, Right. And then towards the very end of August and into uh, September, um, we have a fast sudden move higher, right around the cusp, but fast, a fast move, a, a prominent move higher, um, but it's fully retraced back down um, in early September with a sharp decline um, to reach the September low. The high actually should be at the beginning of September and it marks an opportunity to open up protection. Um, and then we have a U-shaped dip uh, towards the end of September, an opportunity to position oneself for both sides of the market um, when it comes to the high here for September. Decline moves into uh, moves into uh, early October. Um, looks like there's a brief high before the the month's low here, um, and we won't revisit that 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 price level of that high again within the month of September. Around the high, we have sideways fluctuation along a support level. That'll be near the high. I'm advised to be prudent there. I'm advised to be prudent at the beginning of the, be cautious at the beginning of uh, September and around the high. We have um, in, in selling from an overbought crest in, in the uh, end of September, uh, excuse me, the end of October, and then we have a big move to the upside. It looks like the beginning of a of a rally um, with a big move to the upside in early November. We fi we failed to break through key resistance around the third week of November or so. Um, looks like a uh, either a year's high or a, a very prominent high there. Um, and, and it looks like we established support new support out of resistance towards the end of the month um, and then and also the theme for the year for INO is three crosses through the same price level confirming a bullish trend um, and what I see happening is um, early on in the year on the cusp of February and March we had a, a, a technical level that was really important so I went in there and I looked at the cusp boom we have this this uh, dotted line at 325 um, and we, we dip below it briefly, right on the cusp there. And then we cross back up above it, and I believe that's the first cross. The second cross...
there's a crisscross through that price level in April. Looks like we we may see something similar across around there uh, between like July, August, more so August. And then at the very end of the year, we have another cross, so July, August, and then at the very end of the year, we have another cross, or like early November into December. Um, we have a revisiting of past problems with a flight to safety in early de December. Um, advised to be cautious there again. Um, off of the low, we have a move higher, successfully turning resistance into new support. Um, and that's a cash in opportunity um, on a long position, it looks like. Um, because the following, uh, the last card, the, the end of December, we have stripes. So we hit resistance and then we break down with, with consecutively lower spikes up on the way down. Um, the spikes up, usually they hit like a, a moving average as resistance and moving averages are formed up for a bearish kind of uh, tone, if you will. Uh, guys, that's, oh, and, and you, the, there will be a crest that's revisited um, and it's revisited, revisiting a crest that was a recently a past opportunity and this will happen within the midst of some volatility. That's the type of behavior that we should see around the year's low. So around August, July, August, um, the behavior to reach the highs, the highs for the year is gonna be a uh, fast end move higher, marking the end of a period of uh, sideways rotation. And again, it looks like we have a, a year's high there in, in November, December, somewhere in there. Um, all right, guys, that's the INO one year, second half of 2022 for you. Let me know if you like this sort of stuff. If you want to see more INO, hit that like button. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. That's how you pay, pay, pay us back, by hitting that subscribe button. You make money in this reading, pay forwards, my friends. And I'll see you on the next one.